If you can't remember the password to a Wi-Fi network, but your phone is already connected to that network, most modern Android phones will allow you to view the password of a network you've already connected to. And in this video, Timmy's going to show you how you can do it. As always with Android tutorials, unfortunately, the settings app can be pretty different depending on what phone you have. But Timmy has a Google Pixel and a Samsung phone here. So hopefully between these two examples, whatever phone you have should look fairly similar to at least one of them. So to get started, we'll need to open up the settings app. So you probably already know how to open the settings app on your phone. There are even several different ways you can do it. But Timmy's just going to quickly pull up the settings app on both of these phones. And now that we're in the settings app, this is where it will start to look different between different phones. As you can see between the Pixel and the Samsung, it's quite different. But we need to go into the Wi-Fi menu so it'll usually be the top option here. On the Pixel, it's called Network and Internet. On the Samsung, it's called Connections. On some phones, it might just be called Wi-Fi or something, but it will usually have a Wi-Fi icon next to it here, and it will usually be the top option in the Settings app. So hopefully you can find that and go ahead and tap on it. And now, on the Samsung phone, it's pretty clear here, we have Wi-Fi, so we'll tap on Wi-Fi. And on the Pixel, the only option is internet, so we have to tap on internet, which is slightly different. The Pixel also includes your mobile data in this menu, as well as the Wi-Fi. So it's just a bit different there, but it's pretty much the same. And now we're in the Wi-Fi menu. so. If you're currently connected to the Wi-Fi network that you want to see the password for, which you probably will be, you should see that network here and here. And you can just tap on the settings icon next to that network to pull up all the network details. And we'll get into how we can find the password in this menu in a second. But if you're not currently connected to the Wi-Fi network, and you just have connected your phone to this Wi-Fi network previously, on the Pixel or similar, you can scroll down and tap on Saved Networks here. And then you'll see a list of all the Wi-Fi networks you've previously connected to on this phone. And you can just scroll through them and choose the one you want to see the password for. So maybe we'll tap on this one and then we can see the password for that one. But on the Samsung phone and maybe other phones similar to a Samsung phone, it's a bit more complicated. You have to tap on the three dots in the top right hand corner and then tap advanced settings down here. And now in advanced settings, you'll tap manage networks. So if you have a phone that's like the Samsung, but a di bit different, this part might be slightly difficult because you have to go through a few different menus, but hopefully you can find it even if it is not exactly the same as this phone. And now, just like the Pixel, you can scroll through this list of all the Wi-Fi networks you've ever connected to, and then just tap on one ready to pull up this menu and see the password. But now, either way, whether you're already connected to the Wi-Fi network or not, now that you're on this menu, something looking like this menu, with all the details of this one Wi-Fi network, you're ready to see the password. But it is still once again different depending on what phone you have. On a Pixel phone or any phone with a settings app that looks like this, you'll tap the share button here and then you'll have to unlock the phone with either your face or your passcode or your fingerprint or something. And now it'll bring up this QR code and this QR code is actually pretty cool. It allows you to scan that QR code with a different phone. And then that other phone would automatically connect to this Wi-Fi network. So that's cool. But if that's not what you want to do, and you just want to see the Wi-Fi password, 
on a Pixel phone, you should see Wi-Fi password directly under the QR code. And then what it says here is the password. So in this case, the password is demo password. So it says that, but whatever your Wi-Fi password is should be there. So on a Pixel phone or similar, that's all there is to it. And that's pretty simple. You're now done. You now know what the Wi-Fi password is, but on a Samsung phone, it is once again different. On a modern Samsung phone now, actually, you do just have this password box here, but the password is a bunch of dots. But all you need to do is tap on this little eye icon here and enter your, your pin to unlock your phone. And now you can see the password there. So the password is demo password, but your password would be whatever it says there. And now if you're on a Samsung phone or another phone that looks like this, you'll see your Wi-Fi password right there. But unfortunately, there might be some other phones that don't have either of these options. But don't give up hope just yet. If you look around this menu somewhere, this Wi-Fi menu where you've tapped on the network already, and you're looking at all the settings, if you look around the screen, you might see share with a QR code icon or password somewhere, or even QR code or something with a QR code icon there. You can try tapping on that and you'll probably have to enter your pin or use your finger or something. And now it'll pull up the QR code or maybe a password, but if it pulls up the QR code with no password, I'm gonna pull this one up again actually. If we look at the pixel here, the pixel will pull up a QR code with a password here, but some phones might only pull up a QR code and not show any password at all. And that can be quite annoying, but what you can actually do is you can usually use a thing called Google Lens to extract the password from this QR code and just see what the password is. Google Lens is useful for a lot of things, but one of the things it can do is scanning QR codes. So to pull up Google Lens on most phones, not all phones can use Google Lens in this way, but to pull it up on most phones, if you have a phone with swiping gestures like this, where you can swipe like that to go out of apps, you'll have this bar at the bottom of the screen and you'll press and hold on that to pull up Google Lens. Or if you have a phone with three dots at the bottom, a back button, a home button, and a square button, you'll just press and hold the middle button or the home button and that'll do the same thing. And now that Google Lens has popped up here, we can get rid of that and you'll need to tap on the QR code. It might pop up with a little button that says connect to Tech Time with Timmy Demo or whatever your Wi-Fi network is called, but you actually don't want to do that because that'll just try to connect your phone to the Wi-Fi network it's already connected to. You want to see the password. So avoid that button and just tap somewhere on the QR code and sometimes it doesn't get it quite right. So you'll try tapping again. And if you can tap it in just the right spot, it'll pull up this little bit down here where it should say network name, tech time with Timmy demo, which is the network name and password, demo password. And now we've seen the Wi-Fi password that was inside the QR code. So that's how you can do it there. If it shows you a QR code, but no password, you can do that. But unfortunately on some phones, if you hold down this bar here, it actually won't pull up Google Lens no matter what you do. But there is still another way that you could use Google Lens. If you take a screenshot of this page by pressing the power button and the volume down button at the same time, you probably know how to take a screenshot on your phone, or if you don't, you could watch another video on that. Then you can go to Google Photos. Hopefully you have the Google Photos app. And now if you open up that screenshot in the Google Photos app, on 
any Android phone at all, when you're looking at a photo like this in the Google Photos app, there will be this lens button. So now you can tap lens here and it will scan your QR code for you and show you the name and the password just like it did before on this phone. So that's actually not necessary on a Google Pixel because it just tells you the password down here. And on a Samsung phone, you could just look at the password in that other password box. But Tim is just demonstrating if you have a different phone that will not show you the password anywhere, but you can find a QR code, there are still ways that you can extract the password out of that QR code using Google Lens, either in Google Photos or directly on your phone. So that's pretty much all there is to it. Hopefully using one of these ways, you've been able to find the Wi-Fi password on your phone, and now you can do whatever you needed to do with the Wi-Fi password. But unfortunately, if you have maybe an older phone or a more obscure brand of phone, when you go and tap on the Wi-Fi network, it might just give you a very simple looking list of details about the Wi-Fi network with no password or QR code option. And unfortunately, if your phone does that, there's not really any way to see the password. You can try with some more difficult to use third-party apps and stuff as shown in some other videos, but it's really nowhere near as easy as just doing this. But hopefully your phone has a QR code or password option and you're able to see your password like that. So that's the end of this video and we'll see you in the next one.